Jeannie Traub was a young wife and mother when she lost her own mother to cancer. By the time she was diagnosed with it, she passed away within three weeks. It was um, a very devastating thing watching someone suffer to that great degree. Jeannie had always taken good care of herself. Then after a visit to her doctor, she heard the words she never wanted to hear again, cancer. She was given four to six months to live. I got a call from the doctor. They told me that I had leiomyosarcoma. Leiomyosarcoma is a bone, muscle, and soft tissue cancer. And mine was staged as a stage three high-grade leiomyosarcoma. That's a very deadly cancer. Um, if somebody has a tumor like that in an arm or a leg, they amputate even today. Jeannie asked her doctor for a second opinion. He told me that the cancer cells were going through my body and if I was going to get a second opinion, it better be in the next 24 hours because I wasn't going to live. Jeannie didn't panic, even though death was a real possibility. I knew that that was man's report and I knew that with faith, you can't always look at the circumstances around you. You have to stay focused on God. The specialist told her that radiation and chemotherapy were not options for treatment, so Jeannie took matters into her own hands. What I had prayed to God is to, for Him to bring the things into my life that I needed for a total and complete healing. I had to stay focused on the Word of God because those reports can get you down. And when I kept getting, you know, four out of four oncologists telling me that I wasn't going to be here by the end of the year, you know, how do you deal with that? And it was that, you know, yes, that's maybe true in the natural, but God's a supernatural God, and that's not His report. And I learned to stand on His Word, to look up those scriptures, you know, by His stripes I'm healed, that He turns all things to good to those that love the Lord, you know, to seek God with your whole mind, body, and spirit. You know, those are the Jeannie says she asked God to show her what she needed to do to help her body heal. I knew that my immune system had fallen down. So all these nutritional things that I was doing was helping to build up my body so that my body could help fight this cancer. She heard people talking about the Daniel Fast and decided to try it. That includes fruits, vegetables, brown rice, beans, and lentils, and nuts and raisins. And um, it's a phenomenal fast. Results didn't happen overnight. She was discouraged at times, but her persistence paid off. At three months, I started to have breakthrough. My energy level picked up. Um, I got my memory back. Um, you know, things started to happen where I knew I was on the right track. And I think that that's very important for people to know is that depending on how much they've run down their bodies, it's gonna, may take a while to get back up. Jeannie learned to take God at His word. When I wasn't doing the nutritional part, I was spending time with God. The only channel that I had on my TV was Christian television. Uh, the only book I read was the Bible. Um, there were, I kept God in the forefront of my mind and my spirit all the time and drew my strength from there because, no, I couldn't have done it on my own. <laughs> the result of eating a healthy diet, exercising, and holding on to God's promise of healing paid off. After only six months, she received a cancer-free report. When I found out that I was cancer-free, of course, you can't even imagine. <laughs> you can't imagine the excitement. Every morning that I woke up, I just felt like a ping pong ball bouncing off the walls. It was an amazing, amazing experience. Jeannie and her husband, Greg, have grown closer by going through this ordeal. And what she learned during her healing process has now become a way of life. My routine today exists of getting up, um, I start out drinking, you know, water. Um, I spend time with God during that time. I have a 20 to 30 minute period that I do some exercises and so forth, and then I am ready for the day. Jeannie has been cancer free for seven years. She now realizes that cancer was not a death sentence. It was an opportunity to trust God to do the impossible. God was always a part of my life before, but He wasn't my life. And going through this experience, the Lord became my life. And everything that I do revolves around the Lord now. She treasures God's gift of life and never takes a day for granted. Jeannie looks forward to seeing her granddaughters grow up. I thank God for His strength and everything that He's done to help me get through that. It was an awesome spiritual journey to seek the healer more than the healing, to seek God, to know that He loves you, to know that He can heal you, 
and to find your comfort, your healing, and everything in God.